Hello everyone! How's it going? Welcome back to a new Let's Play. Ah, the PlayStation 2, my favorite console of all time. Have a nice day. Are you going to mention that every time you start a, a PlayStation 2 game playthrough? The answer is yes! <laughs> and welcome back, viewers, to the continuation of the Xenosaga series playthrough. Marathon? I'm not gonna call it a marathon, because, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, after I finished uh, the first one, viewers, it took me a while before I start uh, with this one. Definitely uh, played a few games uh, that I really wanted to play, and that game definitely took me a while before I finished them. Um, these games, I'm gonna, uh, did record them. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be uploaded uh, uh, before this one, uh, I'm gonna have to give priority to this one since it's the main RPG for, uh, for uh, series for this channel, uh, for now at the very least. Uh, that's neither here nor there, viewers. Uh, what I want to say, uh, while you guys enjoy the theme uh, song for the main menu, which is uh, amazing, in my opinion, a few things that I want to say before I continue uh, playing this game. First and foremost, uh, the main reason that I'm going through all of these games, viewers, is, uh, to prepare myself for the third game. Uh, for the record, I have, uh, in... Before playing, uh, the first one and this one, viewers, I already finished them when they, uh, released back in the day. Never had that, the opportunity to play the third one, uh, th for those who don't know, the third one uh, wasn't a huge success, didn't sell a lot, and uh, was one of the rarest uh, uh, games uh, to find. It really uh, was hard to find the, uh, this game. Well, it's not about hard to find, it was expensive as hell. <laughs> but I managed uh, to get one, viewers, finally, after, I don't know, a decade or two. <laughs> So, uh, the main reason I'm going through all of these games is just to prepare myself for the third game. Familiarize uh, myself with the story and characters. The second thing that I want to mention is that I'm going to say it's uh, right here, right now, viewers. Uh, this game has a lot of side content. And some of the content that you can go through in this game, uh, you can only access them only after you finish the game. Once you get a clear save data file, you have to load that save data file. I don't know if you actually have to start from the very beginning, like a new game plus, but I don't think so. I think you actually gonna load uh, right, you know, before the final boss or whatever, and you can access uh, these uh, these extra content, this uh, the side content that the game uh, offers. Some of them, not not definitely most of them, but these are really the you know the 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 best uh, ones that you can access them. You're only, you're only gonna access them once you finish uh, this game. And this is where I'm gonna tell you, viewers, I am not 100% sure that I'm actually gonna go through them. Not to mention going through all of the side content that's gonna be available for me. As I said before, viewers, my main, uh, my main reason for going through these games is just to prepare myself for the third game. And for that reason, I might just go ahead and focus on the... Uh, main story content. As I said, I'm really not 100% 100% sure because I am. I want to play the game and I want to enjoy it as as is. Like if the content that I'm gonna find are gonna be fun, I'm just gonna go through them normally. But uh, I'm just gonna give you the that I'm not. This is playthrough is not gonna be a guaranteed 100% uh, run or at least in terms of uh, side content uh, in, in, uh, included. I'm not going for for 100% for everything, of course. But usually when I play these kind of games, I try to go at the very least uh, for the for the side content that's uh, going to be available for me or I can find them. Uh, so that's that. With that out of the way, viewers, join me. Join me in Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 2. Insights von Gut und Busse. Beyond good and evil. Ah, damn, another Nietzsche uh, reference? Unlock special features for Xenosaga Episode 2. Check for Xenosaga Episode 1, clear data. Yeah, I played this guy. I played that game. I'm familiarized with that. <laughs> uh, 
This game, viewers, is uh, definitely um, not a lot of people like this game. Or I'm not gonna say it's the, it's the black sheep for uh, for the series. Probably not only for the series, for most of the game, uh, like uh, even uh, bl the black sheep uh, for for the uh, for any uh, Xenosaga, uh, for any games that Monolith Software uh, ever made. Well, not including. Uh, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I heard that the game is uh, not very good as well. <laughs> but it's really about the changes that they made for this one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna talk a little bit about that uh, a little bit later, once we actually see these kind of changes. Uh, uh, before I actually, you know, tell you my opinion. Oh, probably I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna probably save my opinion for the, for the, uh, for once I finish the game. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Episode 1, feature unlocked. Earned swimsuit for Ziggy and Cosmos. What the hell? I don't want to see Ziggy in a goddamn bikini. <laughs> That's gonna be traumatizing. No, thank you very much. Feature unlock. Earned a geriatric swimsuit. Uh, what the hell is that? I really, I really don't know. I really cannot remember these content, by the way, viewers. What I do remember from, you know, getting a save, uh, a clear save, uh, data file, or a clear data save file, uh, is that, uh, if you get it, if you get one for a Xenosaga 1 and load it and use it here, you're gonna get, uh, extra... Uh, skill points that you can carry with you. Of course, you're not gonna uh, get the same levels as the characters that pl you played before. Like, there's uh, some sort of a, uh, like, a, uh, like a formula or, uh, uh, or an equation for uh, for uh, w uh, how much uh, how much points you're gonna get. Uh, the maximum, of course, if you get uh, everyone to level 99 in the first game, which is something. Uh, uh, I definitely didn't do. Not to mention, never cared of doing it. It's gonna be a, a waste of time, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try mine. Shut the hell up while we enjoy this uh, intro cutscene. I'm going to try my best not to uh, get into these nuts jokes. <laughs> are they too old? Are they are these j uh, jokes too old? just the beginning of the ensuing violence. Yeah, for the record viewers, I'm playing this game on an emulator. This game is running on 4K on my machine. Uh, the game looks really beautiful. I definitely did a test run. Uh, but some of the cutscenes are gonna definitely... are gonna be uh, pre-rendered cutscenes, and, you know, for the quality that, you, that the PlayStation 2 and the DVDs can handle. So these are gonna be a little bit low res compared to the uh, to the in-game cutscenes. So keep that in mind. But they don't have any misgivings about us. Who the hell is that guy? I I recognize this guy. But we don't recognize this guy, Kanan, huh? And he's a realian. That you won't be affected like the others. Besides, no ordinary pilot could possibly control your craft. That makes you very vital to the operation. Hey, I, don't believe I recognize you two that have guy. Been properly introduced yet. This is Chaos. He'll be joining you on board as your navigator. Yeah, they did change uh, some of the uh, voice actors for this one, viewers. They didn't retain a regular them. human can't ride in that thing. A regular human, huh? Right. That's why I'm here. Don't worry. All right, it's settled then. Good luck. I don't know if this is gonna be a spoilers, viewers, for those who never played this one. Uh, I don't think they're gonna mention the. Uh, they're gonna clear. Uh, what is chaos uh, precisely? Because, you know, uh, we know that chaos is definitely not normal. <laughs> that is for sure, but I don't think this game is gonna... Don't worry. 
gonna tell us uh, what what is he? Operator, requesting is he a human? What kind of powers does he have? How did he get them? Uh, I don't think we'll get these answers. I I gotta be honest, I really don't remember. I don't remember a lot of things about this game, viewers. <laughs> uh, definitely, uh, not, a, uh, not a lot of things that I remember for this uh, playthrough in general. Shut up, have a nice day. I'm trying to enjoy these cutscenes. Why data? We'll do what we I don't think uh, this is something that uh, ever yes, mentioned Azure. before. Startup sequence complete. Requesting launch. Launch request confirmed. Now guiding ES Asher to deck B. This game is not bad, viewers. Is uh, what I'm always gonna try to say. But uh, then again, the main reason. I like this one. I like this intro. Defensive shields. Deployed. Like the main, re Ready the main reason are. I'm Roger. interested Initiating in uh, this game is because you know, uh, it is. Ha it has some sort of a a connection uh, to uh, to Xenogears and the, uh, Xenogears and Xenosaga. They're both in the same, uh, like in the same world. They uh, share the same lore and uh, uh, and Xenogears easily. <laughs> has the best story that I ever experienced in an RPG and uh, that's the main reason why I I'm, I'm interested in this series altogether I want to I want I want to you know to I want to have more of what uh, Xenogears uh, uh, showed me and gave me that's for sure this should get us closer to our yeah don't ask about the Xenogears uh, playthrough by the way viewers on this channel approach warning Incoming craft I already played it. I already course. recorded it uh, way before I played we'll the Xenosaga One, actually. Stop counting. Uh, but I've never uploaded it. Uh, we'll use the shockwave to gain an advantage. Uh, for reasons. <laughs> You've got control. <laughs> Not gonna say the these reasons. Actually, I can say the reasons. Roger. I really didn't uh, think like that uh, that playthrough precisely no was uh, limit they can fun to watch. They might pull some crazy moves out there, so be careful. Oh, pretty much. It just makes them all the more So, yeah. Don't ask me about the Xenogears playthrough uh, on this channel. You're not, go you're not gonna see one. <laughs> well, that's actually not... Uh, that's, that's, not uh, that's not a guarantee. I might, uh, I might do one in the future. Who knows? Who knows? In the far, far future. So don't put... Uh, yeah. Don't put... Uh, all your bets on that. Ooh. If only you can actually play uh, this section. Zone of the Ender style? I kind of want to play that game as well, viewers. <laughs> no Who knows? Expect. Uh, I'm actually definitely going to try and uh, play that one. Let's find they definitely released an uh, HD remake. Uh, or HD remaster on the PlayStation 3 that I haven't uh, touched yet. Hmm. So, I'm not actually gonna get this. These guys are good! He, with his, he can beat him uh, with his eyes uh, closed? Oh shit, using his senses? All of them in one shot? Oh! Chaos is good. Uh oh. Already? <laughs> You're gonna beat him? You gotta beat him with uh with your gun? God damn my AR-15 is empty. Just beat him with it. All enemies destroy. It's true. You really are as good as they say. How are you handling the feedback? You know a normal person would have probably passed out by now. I don't want you jeopardizing the mission. I'm fine. It feels like it's had some special tuning, but that just makes it more interesting. I see. Well, if I get anything unusual from you, I'm cutting the bypass to the navigator immediately. I can operate this thing fine by myself. 
Roger. I'm showing off. Showing off already. Looks like we're pretty far out from our objective. Plus, I'd say the defensive network we saw. Damn, look at the graphics. <laughs> yeah, welcome to uh, 4K Xenosaga viewers. I played the first one also on 4K. I might increase the resolution even more, by the way, viewers. I have the ability to do that. Uh, also, uh, this uh, whole uh, playthrough and probably the whole series is going to be uploaded as 4x3 viewers. Don't complain if you're, uh, if you're uh, one of those who complain about, you know, uh, the, these Does videos are not uh, 16 by 9 uh, Keep in mind that <laughs> back in the day we didn't have uh, widescreens, uh, you know, widescreen TVs. We only had uh, CRTs, and we, well, I'm not gonna call them CRTs. We had we had these, uh, you know, TVs that had uh, you know a lot of junk in the trunk, and they're heavy. You can t you can kill uh, g someone with them, <laughs> even the smaller ones. I'm sure you understand what they represent in the conflict against the So yeah, four by three. Uh, although I'm actually recording this as sixteen by nine, but you know, uh, m mostly because it's uh, most convenient for me. Yeah, they already uh, already mentioning a lot of stuff, viewers, or important stuff here, viewers. Zohar, your TV. I don't remember when our TV is. I don't know if they're gonna have some sort of a uh, like some sort of a a law on encyclopedia, the, like uh, how they did for the first game. But if uh, if needed, if needed, I might actually just go ahead and. Uh, you know, uh, check these uh, important uh, uh, stuff that we need to check. Old Melsha viewers. Yeah, this is something uh, that's actually happened in the past, viewers. This is something uh, that's not uh, uh, new for sure. And uh, like, uh, I think this is uh, uh, the the events of Melsha. Something that's actually happened. I don't know, 14 years ago or something like that. Uh, I really cannot remember exactly. Some of the... Uh, some of the... Uh, uh, some of these uh, information are definitely... Are definitely not with me. Main pilot, Kanan. Cap... Capulet? Co-pilot! Oh, co... <laughs> co-pilot! The co-pilot is cha uh, chaos. Lowercase C. Uh, can we check on the items that we actually got? I don't think we. Yeah, we're gonna. We're not gonna access all of uh, our stuff until much, much later, viewers. Uh, this is some sort of an introduction, uh, introduction, uh, introductionary uh, section. You know, to familiarize yourself, uh, ourselves with uh, how the game plays and whatnot. So yeah. What is this? Uh, what is this thing? It's a save point. If you touch it and press circle, you can record your uh, current uh, progress and restore your health. Restore your health as well? I think that's new. I think that's new. Huh. Because I, I, if I remember correctly, you actually had to heal yourself. Maybe in... I don't know. I, I really can't remember if you uh, if you actually need to use uh, healing items to heal yourself or not. Cause I remember you actually had to do that, but uh, I don't know. I might be wrong. That wrecked truck is blocking our way. You'll automatically lock onto anything destructible when you when you get uh, close to it. Press uh, square to destroy it. How you destroy things is up to you. How you destroy things is up to you. Oh, I have a gun? I thought you said uh, we're out of ammo. Well, I guess probably ammo that... Uh, that can be used to... Uh, against uh, robots, I guess. Oh, I can use my goddamn stick, too! I can use my goddamn stick. 
beat you with my with my stick. There's a lot of obstacles. Is it possible to shoot uh, at multiple targets? When there are multiple targets, press L1 button or R1 button to switch between them. I'll let you handle the targeting. Uh, okay. Uh, I definitely have the opportunity to change. Uh, well, I guess it's gonna lock on the nearest. Uh, uh, in. Uh, like, uh, as soon as you get to, to a target that's destructible. <laughs> I like how. <laughs> the head uh, tilt. Doesn't make sense, but uh, hey. Well, I probably it probably does make sense. Probably the sensors are uh, attached to the head, even though for a machine, it really doesn't make sense. I can destroy this tank? Damn, this tank is whack. Whoa, the explosion. <laughs> it's a huge ass explosion. Yeah, as I said, yeah, this game looks uh, beautiful, viewers. Uh, they, something that I uh, mentioned. Acquired power shield. Nice. This is something that I should use. I guess I can use it now. Yeah, this is something that I think that I mentioned, viewers. Uh, I'm playing this game on an emulator. Yeah, with these kind of RPGs, viewers, I really have... Like... How do you equip uh, these? I think they are called others in this game. No? There's a tutorial. I'm gonna go through these uh, once uh, I have the opportunity, or once I have the need to do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm playing this game on an emulator, you know, for a lot of reasons, like uh, just to make the game looks better. But the main reason for me uh, to play these kind of games on an emulator is because it's definitely a lot convenient to play these kind of games and record them for recording purposes, because you know I can. I can fast forward, I can save at any time. What exactly it's definitely, uh, expecting to happen here? like, it's definitely uh, convenient well, than playing the game on original TVs hardware. Which I do have, games. by the way, viewers. They're real people. I have They're my PlayStation 2 attack. hooked up at all times. As the I said, PlayStation 2, favorite console Zohar of all time. Was actually designed to be used for the UMN transport system. However... Yes. Well, they experimented with the transport of living beings numerous times, but every attempt ended in failure. According to the records, 99.76% of them were killed instantly. Huh. <laughs> However, it seems that on very rare occasions, there were survivors. They didn't exist as people anymore, though. They were just things, never able to recover their consciousness, the very element that made them human. Mental breakdown. Lieutenant General Helmer concluded that if contact with the system led to the destruction of the human mind, then even the URTVs created as uh, that's even before the existence of uh, Gnosis, by the way, viewers. Gnosis uh, wasn't a thing a at breakdown. this point. Then likely the Zohar, a source of infinite energy, would spiral out of control. That would be devastating. Yeah, imagine that, viewers. You can and create that, something that gives a, a, an infinite uh, an source of energy, which, of course, I doesn't make sense. That's but. where we come in. <laughs> this is a space, uh, this is a sci fi game that's also Japanese. <laughs> yeah, a lot of details that you can see. I can I can show you the difference between the game, uh, how the game originally originally looked, viewers. Uh, maybe I'm gonna try and find uh, a better, uh, like a like a uh, like a beautiful scene, a beautiful shot, you know, to compare with them. So we're gonna uh, keep that for later. Enemy AMWS. I thought they were. Uh, I think they uh, they were called eggs. <laughs> AMWS. What's that? Come in contact with an enemy to uh, initiate combat. Let's go. You can move around. Uh, you can try and dodge them, I think. Not this one, though. <laughs> For the first battle, viewers. Hmm. 
there is one thing, viewers, that I don't know if you guys, uh, a few guys are familiar with the first game. There's something that's uh, different in this one. I don't know if you uh, guys recognize it. No, I'm not ab uh, talking about the change in uh, in uh, combat mechanics. Although it's not really that different from from the first one. The new thing that they added in this game is music. <laughs> Man, the first game didn't it only had like a single track for the majority of the game. It was unforgivable. Like people shit a lot about this game, viewers. But I have never heard anyone that talks shit about the first one about the lack of soundtracks and songs in that game. You're gonna hear the same track, the same combat track for every boss for every contact for every for everything even the dungeons are gonna probably have the same uh, <laughs> are not are not gonna have the same uh, tracks or gonna have the same uh, one uh, un until the very end where they're gonna change uh, things up we're gonna add a new soundtrack and the final boss is gonna have his own soundtrack but yeah one of the biggest uh, uh, problems with the, with the first game is just the lack of music, which is was uh, strange, really. I was like, I remember uh, originally, like, yeah, I'm gonna continue with the, the game viewers. Uh, uh, one of the things that I thought that uh, originally when I played the first game, I thought that there was something wrong with my PlayStation 2 when I played it. Like, uh, it doesn't have the ability to play these. Uh, 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 the songs from the tracks, uh, from the, from the uh, from the disc or something like it's scratched to hell or something, because I remember originally having a lot of problems with uh, with my original PlayStation Two back in the day. So I thought, uh, well, maybe I had uh, some problems with my PlayStation Two until I found out later that no, the game didn't really have any soundtracks. Unlike this one, viewers, this one is gonna gonna have a lot of soundtracks, and all of them are good. The, the soundtracks in this game, are really, really good. So that's a uh, that's uh, one of the uh, a few positive changes <laughs> that they made uh, for this one. But, uh, but uh, to be honest, I'm I'm gonna talk about them once they appear one by one. But yeah, uh, we got uh, new music and a new battle system, which we can explore here. All right. I'll explain the controls uh, during the battle. I'm not going to repeat myself, so pay attention. Who's gonna say that? Who who did say that? Canon or is it chaos? Movement order. Uh, the fastest craft will move first. The order is displayed using icons in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now the this is where the uh, where this is uh, the finger is pointing. There are three enemy icons, a mechanical, biological, and gnosis. What the hell is a gnosis? <laughs> Basic attack, press square or triangle attack immediately. The icons on the bottom left of the screen display the attack information. If you're unable to use an attack, the selection will be grayed out. Uh, there is one... Uh, gripe that I have with the new combat system viewers, but... Um... You're not gonna see it here. I'm probably gonna talk about it once the once it appears. Uh, something that I uh, that they had in the first game, and uh, it was a little bit annoying when they changed it in this one. Which uh, we'll, we'll see it. We'll see it in the future. Cursor. Select the target with the directional buttons. The enemy can have it front or back to you. Uh, this is something new, by the way. This is definitely something new. Attack an enemy in the back. Your aim will be 100% and the critical rate will increase by 50%. Holy, that's actually a lot. So we need to prioritize uh, enemies that are giving uh, us their back. Um, of course, we need to be careful about uh, that as well. Because some, something like that will happen to us. Where people are gonna... Gonna, you know... We're gonna put, we're gonna put in situations where we're gonna have our back to enemies. Of course, when the enemy is facing away, it is uh, to your advantage, but the opposite is true if you are facing away from the enemy. Understand how it works uh, so far? Then take care of the enemies in front of us. Yeah, basic uh, 
controls viewers you press square you press the air prompt and you will get something if you go to uh, i think this is something that I, they're gonna mention if you go to uh Press the X and you go, you're gonna get into a menu where you'll have the ability. I don't know about the, the stock mechanic, by the way, viewers. This is something new. I'm, I'm gonna have to remember well, what is this uh, one for. Uh, but uh, uh, of course, you're gonna have the ability to do uh, you know some special stuff that you you can do here. One of them is, uh, of course, doing uh, some uh, magic shit. Well, I guess this is uh, the special uh, they're, they're talking about, because you can use Ether, which is pre pretty much uh, magic spells. But uh, sp uh, these uh, special skills are, uh, are uh, you know, are attached to the stock or to or to the e EC meter, which, which is something they're gonna, they're gonna introduce later. Single enemy, long beam, fire, spear-like beam. This one requires 200. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's see, uh, see this one first. Woo! 3,000? 3,000? Someone appear- someone else appeared, huh? Can I uh, build up for the, uh... For the other one? Oh, they de deal a lot of damage. And we have a lot of health, holy hell! 12,000? 12,000. Alright, I have 200. We have 200. Let's see, Ice Storm. Single enemy as well. Ooh. Does 3000 as well? Meh. Boost. Cutting in the movement order is called boosting. Press the R1 button to disable ca to uh, display characters who are able to boost. Yeah, they brought boost uh, uh, again here, but I think it's a little bit different here. Well, I'm not gonna say it's a little bit different. So it's, it's almost the same, but not exactly. Uh, which I remember it was change, but I think the changes were uh, negative. Like uh, at least in my opinion, that I didn't like some of the changes. I remember at the very least. I'm not familiar if these changes are actually good or not. Uh, actually, <laughs> we'll have we'll have to check it out. Pressing the R1 button and the corresponding square, triangle, or circle will allow you to boost. Try boosting now. Uh, the game boosted for me, by the way, viewers. I didn't press anything. Uh, press... Well, okay. <laughs> press uh, R1 button and uh, square. That's one. <laughs> That's it. I thought the game boosted for me, but I don't know. You can press X to open the command menu. I'll bring it up uh, now. Yeah, the game will take control sometime. Stock. This is the the new thing here, viewers. Uh, was it new? Was it new? Yeah, this is uh, this uh, this is tell you, viewers, how uh, like <laughs> how far uh, you know, and between uh, between I finished the first game and this one, I really. I uh, can't remember a lot of the uh, stuff in the first uh, game already. I actually have to check some of the information that I that I wanted to know to to continue with it. So <laughs> I like checked my own playthrough to find uh, exactly what happened. I have like some uh, like some memory, but yeah, it's been a while since I played the first one. <laughs> Stock. This will charge the craft's energy by a hundred by a hundred. You can check the current change value by looking at the EC meter. Basic attacks will charge the EC meter by 25. Uh, okay. Like, even normal attacks will charge uh, your uh, your EC meter. This will open the special attacks menu. Special attacks require EC. Energy. Energy charge? Is that it? EC for energy charge? Changing the co-pilot will change the available special attacks. Huh. Interesting. I'll charge EC to 200. Shot uh, Buster and Ice Storm. The values 100 and 200 next to the special attacks indicate the amount of energy needed to execute them. Event slot. Yeah, this is the uh, this is uh, some of the uh, uh, the changes here. By the way, viewers. Uh, that we got, uh, what was it? It was, yeah, it was kill, it's, it's about the same, but I think there was something different here. 
there was something different here. I don't remember what uh, what they changed here. The event slot during the current turn is displayed. Uh, there are several types of event slots, which will change uh, with each turn. Critical, boost, skill, random, and critical. The event uh, the event slots have to follow uh, have the following effects. Critical increases the chance of a critical hit by 50%. Boost increases the rate of which the boost gauge rises. Skill increases skill points earned from enemies uh, upon defeating them, is what they're trying to say. You will get uh, skills uh, from enemies if you defeat them. And if you uh, defeat an enemy in that turn, uh, you know, with having the skill point event uh, showing, you will get... Uh, bonus uh, skill points I think uh, uh, they were really generous with it in the first game I don't know um, I think this is the change that they did here in this game I think they made it a little bit grindy there are three random event slots and uh, one non event uh, these are the uh, these are the new stuff here viewers Ether increases other damage and uh, healing by 50% uh oh that's actually crucial TC, target loses its turn if damaged by an attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think this is the change that I didn't like. Uh, uh, RV, targets... Oh, I think that's RV and not AV. RV, targets boost gauge increases if attacked. Oh, uh, okay. So this is some sort of a defensive turn. Uh... Uh, even including the other damage, uh, the uh, the uh, the other event. Okay. Only enemies in ch and character battles uh, gives only enemies in uh, character battles give skill points. So don't worry about skill in this battle. Okay. <laughs> That's about it uh, for now. The rest you'll have to figure out for yourself. I'm gonna leave us uh, for the wolves. We already seen these uh, effects. Um, these uh, these attacks are trash. Oh, I thought this one did uh, three thousand. Never mind. Hey hey, we won our first battle. I don't think yeah, I don't think uh, experience points are gonna actually carry because th these are events that happened in the past. So. After a battle is over, enemies will be unable to detect us for a little while. Yeah, you see, you saw that uh, me flashing for a little bit, going a little bit white. Uh, this means that, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna have uh, invincibility frames. Uh, but, uh, that we can actually use, you know, to, to bypass enemies or even uh, retreat from uh, a certain point, so gonna be important so during that time we won't get into another uh, another battle even if we come in contact with an enemy cool all right let's go ahead and continue now, this section is supposed to be easy not really hard that's a trap it has various effects on enemies within its range destroy it to set it off yeah, the, you guys remember these kind of, of traps, or you're, if you're familiar with the first game. They used to, to be, you know, in, like, uh, containers, like, uh, cylindrical containers, but now they're uh, mines. And you, you don't trigger them by uh, jumping on them, or, I don't think, or uh, walking over them. Like, I don't think enemies, uh, uh, like, trigger them or anything. You actually have to shoot them. Uh, like how you shoot, you know, uh, uh... Uh, any other object the color of the trap indicates the effect traps with different colors have different effects um, We'll have to explore all that We have to bait this fool Oh, well, never mind. He's in range And yeah, we here we're gonna get stuck a uh, stock bonus by the way viewers uh, in this playthrough as uh, any of my RPG playthroughs I'm gonna skip a lot of uh, battles but since these uh i'm definitely gonna showcases i'm gonna showcase these uh battles uh here since uh, you know they're gonna they're gonna be like like tutorial battles i don't well i want to you know i want to go ahead and explore it uh, together so let's go ahead and do that 
I'm gonna go through this this battle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember if this if they're gonna teach us anything here though. Yeah, these enemies are easy. There's uh, really nothing to them. Yeah, usually I'm gonna uh, uh, I skip these kind of battles. No need to. Uh, uh, you know, if it's not uh, if it's not an important battle or uh, or showing showcasing a new a new enemies, uh, there's really no uh, need for me to showcase them. Uh, but we do have a new enemy here. Uh, Fuga Lily, Fuga. What the hell is a Fuga? A stole marine. Are they all? Uh, they are gonna uh, show showcase uh, their health points immediately. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and see the the other attack. Well, that sucked. <laughs> he managed to uh, to dodge that. Let's try it again. Fourteen hundred. I don't have a boost. I cannot boost if I uh, if I have the same turn. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, if there are new enemies, I'm gonna showcase them. But I'm I'm probably gonna showcase every uh, every uh, every fight in this uh, section. Whoa! Oh, that was special. I wonder why. This item also looks special. Nano repair A. That's a healing item. We also got some uh, some items from from the enemies, by the way, viewers. Nano repair. It recovers 25% of max HP and AP. ES only. Uh, now they're gonna call them ES, not eggs. Eggs was a stupid name. I didn't trigger the trap. Shit. Oh, three of them. Beat the shit out of this guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot my guns. I have potato aim. Bitch. You, 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 you. They don't do a lot of damage, to be honest. Well, they... Uh, compared to the, uh... Compared to the, uh... To the mech... Uh, to the mecha suits uh, that they released. Yeah, now I triggered the goddamn <laughs> trap. Uh, nice going, have a nice day. Nice going. Oh, another cutscene. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Not Is this it song. A pillar of light. And that sound. It's more than that. Music. It's the song of Nephilim. Shit. Do you know what it is? I can't believe it. Even you tick has to be aware of the danger of the song. What could possibly make them? No, if this keeps up, no, everything is uh, exploding. Is it because of the song? It looks like they think we're the enemy. Yeah, these are our allies. Supposedly. They're shooting at us! Send an emergency IFF signal to let them know we're on their side. We can't let anything stop us. We have to reach our objective. They should be receiving our IFF signal. Wait. Something's wrong. What is this? What the? What's going on with them? This is... Oh shit! My arm. Uh, this guy is a reality, so uh, he's gonna be affected by that. I 
actually, viewers, we really don't have a, a some sort a, a form don't understanding. Close your mind. We don't have a form understanding of uh, the effect of the song of Nephilim. It's bad, but what does it do exactly? Uh, other than make these guys go crazy? What the hell happened to these guys? Did we do that? Oh. Who the hell is this guy? Is he with us? I don't know. But he's broadcasting an IFF. Attention, unidentified craft. I've received your IFF signal. The other crafts have been tainted, but you seem unaffected. Are you an ally? Well, it looks like well, I'm not shooting at you. What do you think? Getting out of here is our first priority right now. I think we should stick together. Agreed. Confirmed. IFF signal accepted. Stand by. I will now eliminate the affected Federation units. Woo! Damn, I don't have potato aim. I'm gonna have an amazing game. <laughs> Damn, I'm dodging these bullets? Dancing, uh, dancing around them? Stopped. Uh, his uh, this definitely doesn't look uh, good. Oh, we're jumping out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Impressive. I guess that pilot is just as effective on foot as he is in his craft. Who the hell is that guy? How the hell did he do that? Thanks for the assist. And you're? I am Captain Jin Uzuki. You don't look like you're with the regular forces. What the hell? Well, Jin Uzuki? If you're still operational, I advise you to leave. I don't know if you guys remember this guy, but this guy definitely, the game definitely showcased him as a, a, a kind of a wimp. I'm not gonna say he's a wimp, but definitely not the type to be a goddamn b badass soldier with a goddamn katana cutting uh, uh, mechas into two. And this is Kane. Jin Uzuki is the the brother the of the main protagonist. By the way, Do viewers, you know where the URTV force is now. If so, URTVs, ah, uh, the special units said to possess an anti udu retrovirus. Our mission is to protect them. Please, if you know where they are, tell us. Hmm. Well, this is quite a coincidence. That's raining. Although it's more than that. Fate, perhaps. In any case, I will take you. Take me where? Oh, <laughs> there goes uh, our ride, I guess. <laughs> there goes our ride.